everybody, Gina Mizell here alongside Danny Moran. We're at Oregon State practice on Wednesday in advance of the Beavers game against Colorado at Reeser Stadium on Saturday night. And quarterback news again, perhaps. Um, we were able to watch, of course, the last few minutes of practice. And Nick Mitchell, of course, officially is listed as the backup on, on the most recent depth chart. But today he was taking some first team reps. And Dave Baldwin said, don't read too much into it. Seth Collins is still the starter. But he did open the door to say that Nick Mitchell perhaps could see some action against the Buffaloes on Saturday. Yeah, it's been a while since we've even talked about a quarterback controversy. Right. You know, I think people might forget that Seth Collins and Marcus McMarion, who's now on the third string, uh, you know, started the year in a quarterback battle. They both, you know, went into Weber State the opening game knowing that they were going to play. Collins played well enough to win that job. Now it's been Nick Mitchell who's kind of reasserted himself in that race. And one of the things Dave Baldwin mentioned is that, you know, Seth Collins, who had 23 carries against Washington State, got a little banged up. We've seen now back-to-back -back weeks, maybe all those rushes starting to take its toll. And so it seems like Mitchell gives them that, you know, second best option and maybe a better passing option than what Collins has provided so far. Yeah, absolutely. And I asked Dave Baldwin why Nick Mitchell over Marcus McMarion, because that's a switch in and of itself with, with the backup role. And he said that Mitchell's kind of done what Marcus McMarion did during the summer as far as really um, making a lot of strides, growing in this offense, and yeah, putting himself in position to uh, to be, to get some playing time. And yeah, maybe he does have the best arm of, the, of these three quarterbacks. So again, it'll be very interesting to monitor how things go on Saturday. Yeah, and I mean, the offense is in a position where they're kind of having to play catch up, you know, the back to back weeks, you know, against Stanford, Michigan, those tougher teams, it was a much more balanced approach in the first half. Now they've, you know, been in situations where they've had to really play from behind. So we're not sure kind of what Colorado will bring and if that will be different this week, but Mitchell may give a better passing option in that in that sense. Yeah, there could be situations where, you know, Collins is out there for his legs, Nick Mitchell's out there for his arm, maybe switching off. Again, it kind of remains to be seen, but certainly, again, like I said, the door is open. We, and we were anticipating potentially seeing that for a lot of the year when Gary Anderson announced that it was going to be Collins and McMarion to start. Mm -hmm. He left the door open that, you know, we don't know how long this is going to last. We've seen McMarion I think two more times after Weber State this year, but it was really limited reps one time only because Collins was banged up against Arizona. So, uh, yeah, it, it kind of opened to anything. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And again, of course, Oregon State's passing attack does need to get better. They rank last in the Pac-12 and are one of the worst teams nationally in that category. Um, we also got to talk to Gary Croton, who is here as an offensive consultant of some kind, um, just helping this offense out. Uh, Dave Baldwin, um, you know, was saying that he welcomed the outside point of view. Um, Croton is obviously close with Kevin McGiven. He, his niece is married to Kevin McGiven. So, um, but you have some news on, on kick returner. You talked to Victor Bolden. Is that job his now for, for the time being? For the time being, I also talked to TJ Woods who coordinates the kick return uh, effort. V Victor Bolden obviously had a 100-yard return um, back in that role that he saw as a freshman. Uh, now that the workload has obviously increased on the offensive end, uh, you know, kind of, it was an opportunity to take it away from him to, I think, keep his body fresh. But, you know, Given that the offense has struggled, the team's at a point where they want to, you know, get the best field position possible. So, I uh, still expect to see a rotation to keep him fresh. Uh, Ramel Dockery, uh, De Detron Guyton, uh, maybe Dwayne Williams too, some of the faster guys on the team. But for right now, I uh, expect to see Victor Bolden on Saturday taking the opening kickoff. Yeah, well, of course, Gary Anderson will talk to us after practice on Thursday, and then it'll be time for the game against Colorado, uh, perhaps Oregon State's best chance to snag a Pac-12 victory this season. So keep it on OregonLive.com. Keep reading the Oregonian every day. And for Danny Moran, I am Gina Mizell. We will catch you next time from Corvallis.